Hey guys, it's the real Creophis here. I apologize up front for the noise, but we're in the middle of a tropical storm. It may get upgraded to a hurricane, and I figured what better time to do some smoking. So today, despite the rain, despite this weather, we're going to be smoking some turkey legs. So I'm going to start up my chimney, my Weber chimney smoker, just like always. We're going to get our lump charcoal going. We're going to smoke some turkey legs. Even though the rain's a little bit bad, the weather's probably going to get rough. Let's take a look, see if you can take a look at that sky. <clears throat> we're going to smoke anyway. All right, we're going to use our Primo Oval XL, and I don't think we're going to have much of a problem. Stay tuned. All saturated. We're gonna do the best we can. Okay, we got our charcoal in there, we got our paper in there. I don't know if you could hear me, but next thing I'm gonna do is get this fire lit. As those coals are lighting up, we're going to go inside, get our turkey legs prepared, come on back out. Alright, as you can see that fire is more than ready now. I've already seasoned our turkey legs, so I'm going to put this fire into the Primo. Only on one side though, because we're going to do an indirect cook, get the temperature up to about 250. We'll do it that way. The weather's slacked up a little bit, so this should be a good time to put the fire in, put the meat on. Alright, so now we want our grill to come up to 225, Alright, so got our turkey legs here. I want you guys to see that. Nothing fancy, just three turkey legs. This is what we're gonna be having for dinner. I don't have a large family, so this should be fine. I'm just gonna put those on as you can see the grill is starting to smoke. And I think our temperature is about ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I'm doing two-stage cooking once again. I have the heat on this side, the left side, and I'm going to put the meat on the right side. As you can see, the rain's not too bad right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get this on. Mm. Using oak wood today. Smoke smells delicious. You'll notice also that, see, I don't know if you can tell, but right here in the middle is where the cap is. And it is possible for rain to fall through this daisy wheel, but I don't think we're going to have much of a problem. The meat's more to the right, the fire's more to the left, so even if it does fall down in the middle, it shouldn't do much harm. Stay tuned. Okay everybody, we got a little bit of a break in the weather and what I want to do is come out here. I want to take a look and see how they're doing and spray them with a little bit of olive oil that I've got in this Misto oil sprayer. Hopefully you can see that, they're looking good. I'm going to spray these to help crisp up the skin a little bit. This acts very similar to what you would get 
recipe we're using butter. It helps to brown and tighten the skin. We'll roll these over. You can see they're getting some good color on them. This grill's about 250 degrees. I just got a couple pieces of oak. This property of mine is surrounded by oak trees, so I figure why not use them? Since they're here, they're plentiful, they're free, and delicious. I know it seemed like I may have sprayed a lot of oil on them, but most of that was just air, because there's not much oil in here. So stay tuned, we'll keep cooking. So back outside, now you can tell the weather's getting worse. So what I wanna do is I wanna check on the meat and I uh, brought my thermometer out here. Oh, it's kinda windy, everything's getting away from me. And uh, we're gonna check and see how these guys are doing. I'm done here and I'm gonna wrap it up. 